Welcome, welcome, welcome to A Moment in Time with Taylor. Again, I'm coming to you with another split screen scope. I'll be bringing on Mr. Kumar Tronic. I already see him in the room. Um, as soon as I finish, just thanking all of these lovely people here to your right, my left. Your hearts will be floating right over the top of them. And I want to make sure that you go and follow all those top four people on Periscope. They've all been platinum level sponsors or above, which means they are a huge reason that these scopes are possible. We're trying to always in increase and improve the quality of the channel, and we can do that best with sponsorships and these are just viewers so it once you get at least five dollars of value from this content or any of my content you can jump over to femyoga.com learn more, more about me and my business and then you can sponsor as well someone wants to know is club kumar closed tonight they can't hear you but i will relay your message okay we don't it's it's pending we cannot confirm or deny the availability of Club Kumar in the evening, but what we can do is start a countdown if Kumar is ready to come on. You ready? Okay. Um, also, oh, sorry, at femyoga.com, you can sign up for my newsletter where I put all my reviews, let me lean this way, of all my amazing books. A lot of these are my husband's books. Most of my books are these ones down here on the ground. And um, I kind of am sitting in front of this tonight because that's something that Kumar and I share in common. And you can sign up for the newsletter there. It's totally free. And I read a new book every single week. And I try to make it really practical and just pull the really useful information out of there. So I read it so you don't have to. And then you can also find my YouTube, my Twitter, my Instagram all on there as well. It's Fem Yoga Taylor everywhere. And in five seconds, hey Mike, we're going to bring Kumar on for... Three, two, one. Woo! Yes! Party in the scope. Yeah, 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 yeah. So there's going to be a delay on what you're seeing on Periscope. Um, but So it's going to be a little trippy for you. But at least you'll be able to see comments. And you can type in the comments so people can follow you. He is in the room right now. Hey, Maddie. Hello, Mike. Uh, Jackie wants to know, what is your MySpace? <laughs> My MySpace? Uh, Kumartronic. <laughs> oh really? You have MySpace? Yes, I do. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> he was prepared. He was like, "Yeah, I got everything. I'm everywhere." What other social media are I am, you on? Uh, I think I'm on it all. Almost all the major social media channels. I'm on it. You want to shout some out? Uh, sure. Yes, uh, I'm on Facebook um, backslash Kumartronic, Twitter backslash Kumartronic. Um, I'm on Instagram, I'm on uh, MySpace, I'm on, oh, well, I'm, I'm missing some, um, I'm on Snapchat, that's Kumar Nation, that's the only one that's different, Snapchat is Kumar Nation, but everything else is Kumartronic, so it will be extremely easy to find me. Are you on AOL Instant Messenger? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> But I haven't touched it in ages. <laughs> <laughs> I loved AOL Instant Messenger. I was totally addicted to it as a kid. It was the beginning um, of my connection with an online community. What about you? Have you always been on an online community? Uh, I, ever since I can remember. I mean, in high school, when I was in high school, I think that's when the, all the rage on, in, we call it the social media, that's when it really started. So, so I've been on the internet probably since high school, late high school, actually. Yeah, I had my first AOL screen name when I was seven years old. Whoa. So <laughs> you're an internet baby. You're, you are an internet baby. Pretty much, Pretty yeah, much. I was raised on the internet. Dub says ASL. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I yeah, will I answer first. I'm 26, I'm a female, and I'm in New York. How about you, Kumar? What's your ASL? <laughs> You're like a spring chicken compared to me. I, I'm 35, and I live out in Chicago, the Chicago suburbs. And are you male or female? <laughs> I'm male. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good, good, good. You don't have to prove it, so I'll take your word for it. Um, no need. <laughs> <laughs> I love oh, it. So God. if you don't, 
actually, there's probably a lot of people on here who don't know who you are and what you do and how we met. So anything that you want to kind of do a little introduction of yourself? Sure, sure. Um, who am I? I'm an entrepreneur. I'm also a DJ. Um, I've been a DJ since, I would say, 2000, 2001-ish. And uh, music's been in my blood since I've been about six years old. So I uh, started an orchestra. I used to play the cello. Uh, I can read. I can write music. Um, and also entrepreneurism, business. That's in my blood as well as my my dad used to be an entrepreneur, and um, I was taught some entrepreneurial values growing up. So it's um, ingrained in my very core. So uh, I, I love it. I love it. Um, I've been doing that since I've been an entrepreneur myself since 2009. I would say 2009. And then just about a few years ago, I started doing SEO and amongst many, many other things. So my goal, I have big goals. and. Um, I'm nowhere near done. <laughs> Someone says they use eight <laughs> tracks. And uh, um, for those of the people in the room who don't know what SEO is, would you like to enlighten them? Sure, sure. So what SEO is, is search engine optimization. And our goal as SEOs is to help businesses move up the rankings on Google, on Bing, on search engines um, such as those. Right. Yep. Yeah. So that's search engine optimization SEO. That's what he does. So if there's any entrepreneurs watching this live or on the replay, you could contact him, right? They could contact you directly for help on that if they wanted it. Yeah, absolutely. And um, I'm available. I always answer, answer my DMs. I make it a practice to answer each and every DM. You know, I think it's just courtesy, you know, to reach back to the people who are actually trying to get a hold of you. So um, easiest is Snapchat and Twitter, and actually Facebook too. You can reach me on Facebook as well. <laughs> All right. Some people said that they're gonna reach out to you so that you can help them get their website off of the ground. Now, Vegan Doe wants to know what is the best band in the world, and there's only one correct answer. Really, you're gonna give me just one answer? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. So, oh my God, this. Wow, that's tough because uh, I'm a music geek. I'm a music nerd, and um, I love so many forms of music. So um, I, I grew up listening to Bollywood <laughs> music. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Um, bless you. Thank you. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I grew up listening to Bollywood music. I grew, grew up playing the cello, so I'm, I, I love classical music as well. I love jazz. Growing up in Chicago, jazz, soul music is huge here. And then, of course, house music. I mean, so if you're going to give me one, you know what? I'm going to go with Coldplay. Yeah, I'm going to go with Coldplay because they are freaking awesome. Coldplay? She was, that is incorrect. She was looking for the answer, the Beatles. That was the correct answer. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. J just for you, we'll say Beatles. Not for me, <laughs> for vegan dough. For vegan dough, we'll yeah. say Beatles. Yes, yes, she said incorrect. <laughs> wow, two strikes, huh? So many people are answering that. Some people say The Doors, Queen, everyone said, um, you know, the other people say Coldplay sucks, Air Supply, <laughs> Radiohead is what Coldplay wants to be. <laughs> oh, my God. No, you know what? There are, there are a lot of similarities between Radiohead and Coldplay. I, I get that. The Doors, Guns N' Roses, all sorts of opinions here. Radiohead again, yeah, Green Day. You know, there, there isn't a wrong answer because everyone resonates, resonates to different types of music. So some may resonate to classical, others maybe to he heavy metal, others maybe to EDM. I like it all. Yeah, that's awesome. So what do you do on your Periscope channel? On my Periscope channel, um, lately I've been doing just music stuff and I've been leaving the business stuff on the side, like hidden and you know what I realized lately? Um, I need to change it up. You know, I when I first started on Periscope, all I used to do is talk about business and talk about um, entrepreneurism. And people have been asking me, hey, when are you going to come back on and talk about that stuff? So I'm due, and I'm going to start that again up soon. Okay. 
So he does, he DJs, he has a whole setup, and he will take your requests live, which I really like. I, it's hard to find that sometimes, and all you have to do is go into his scope. Well, obviously follow him, if you want to type in the comments again. Follow him, and then when you're in his scopes, when he's DJing, it says right at the top how to do it, so you don't have to memorize this. But you just type in hashtag request, and then you say the song that you want played, and he's really good. He's got pretty much everything, I feel like. Yeah, you know, I, I spend a lot of time um, updating my music and, um, you know, I, I spend time researching. I even produce my own remixes as well. So I I spend a lot of time on that and the rest of the time is on my uh, on my businesses. So that leaves me absolutely no time to go and watch TV and do all that leisurely stuff. My leisurely time is reading a book. That's my leisurely time. I know, I want to get into books, but um, Vegan Doe asked a question. She said, did you play any other instruments? I think you mentioned cello. Yes, I played the cello. I played the tabla, which is a classical Indian instrument. I also used to play the drums a little bit as well. They want to know if you have any Aesop rock. I have a few. Uh, I don't have a big collection on that because I, when I perform, I perform at clubs and I perform at weddings and a lot of Indian weddings and um, and bars and lounges and stuff like that. So I have a few of the really good ones, but I don't have a huge collection with that. Yeah, that's good. And Vegan Doe, she said, okay, good to know. So I can come in there and request Beatles. Yes, you can. I can play Beatles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's I awesome. Will just, I will do that just for you. And, and actually, I made my own remix to it, so you might dig it. Do you know how to play Monopoly? I haven't played Monopoly in almost 10 years. Uh, it'll, it'll come back to me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get groupies? I, I used to. I used to when I used to spin at a lot of clubs, and I hated it. I, I hated that attention. Uh, I, some people really like it, but I, I didn't like it. <laughs> yeah, I can I don't know. I don't know what it's like to be a dude, but I know I wouldn't like that if dudes were trying to hit on me. That's why y'all get blocked, so don't do it. Exactly, exactly. And, and you know, I'm a, to the core, I, I just love music. I love music, and that that's why I DJ. That's why I produce music. I don't have any ul ulterior motives, really. Hey, Eric, I see you sneaking in there. Um, oh, and Katie and Nick and Boo Boo, hello. Everyone's so, like, silent. Oh, Wendy says that she hears that you cook. <laughs> yes, I do cook as well. Um, I actually almost went into culinary school and um, went into music instead. I, I did IT in school as well, too, so I did a little of everything. <laughs> yeah, you seem like a really smart guy, and you're, you know, it's like you experiment with different stuff, and you found a bunch of stuff that works for you. People are totally trolling me, they're my friends. <laughs> oh my god, I see that, I see that. It is hilarious. Will Kumar, give me a record deal. When I open my own record company, maybe. Good job <laughs> taking a comment. It's hard to uh, be on the show and read comments at the same time because it's kind of a, uh, a mix-up. But this JDM person who just said that you and Hawk should get together and mix also was asking, when is your next four-hour awesome party mixing? Club Kumar, when is, when's it coming? Hi, Kylo. We will do it later this week. So um, if you sign up on my Twitter, sign up on my Twitter. If you follow me on my Twitter, um, I normally post when I'm in the scope. So I would strongly suggest that. Oh, enough with the stinking Harold and Kumar jokes, you guys. I'm sure he's heard it like a bajillion times. I'm not reading those. <laughs> um, oh, oh says... so you, you, guys want, you guys want to know where, um, where Harold is. I don't know. He didn't show up. He didn't show up. He's a shy guy. He hates being on camera. I tried to get him on here, and he just didn't show up. Damn it. <laughs> they want to know but, how... But you know, but you know, for now, Taylor can play as... The... Oh, yeah, I can be Harold. Harold. I can be Harold's... the geeky, like... Yeah, like the yeah, one who's afraid of risk-taking, and you just want to stay home. It's too crazy. We can't do it. Kylo says, hey, gorgeous. And then he also said, hey, and hi to Taylor as well. <laughs> <laughs> Kylo. <laughs> I, I love this guy. Hey, Kylo. Kylo, when are you going to stay in my scope for more than two minutes? Oh, <laughs> burn. Kylo 
likes trivia scopes. Maybe he start doing more trivia scopes. He'll he'll stick around. Maybe, maybe we'll throw in some trivia while I spin. We'll we'll do that. Hi Finland. They want to know. Do you do yoga? I, I used to actually. I did yoga for almost fifteen years, and I'll tell you why. Uh, growing up, I used to have a very severe case of asthma. So um, I, I made this trip to India when I was, I think, five or six years old, and I'm telling you, I could not breathe. And back then, and then it's getting better now, but back then in India, the air quality was really bad, mm -hmm. lots of smog, and I couldn't breathe. And my grandfather decided to do something about it. He got me up at four thirty in the morning every day while I was in India for two months. And as a five-year-old, I used to go and do yoga with people that were like in their forties and fifties, and it taught me discipline. Mm. And I did it every every day for almost fifteen years. I would get up every day at five a.m. and just do these do these breathing exercises and and some of the simple poses, and it really helped a lot, along with sports and martial arts. And I honestly haven't had an asthma attack in almost five or six years now. That is so awesome. That's so awesome to hear. You know, we always say that you know the breathing exercise can help with asthma and allergies and different things. But it's nice to actually meet someone who has the experience and the benefits of doing it. They're asking before what... you were a DJ. What mm -hmm. were you doing? I was a student. <laughs> When I got into college, I started DJing, and uh, before that. I used to be in the orchestra, and I used to actually practice two or three hours a day. I would do sports. I used to play tennis, so I would practice tennis, and then after that, I would be doing my homework. So I was really, I was really busy even as a student. And what did you? So you started DJing right away. Was that for? Were you working somewhere? Or even as a DJ, are you always an independent contractor? Has that always been an entrepreneurial journey from the beginning? It's been a mix.、Um, I've worked with people. I've worked with companies, and thank God I did, because I've learned from a lot of people. And、um, you know, just like when you're in business, you need mentors, right? As a DJ, you should have a mentor as well, somebody who's been in the business for a long time that can teach you, right?、Mm. I was taught how to read, read a crowd correctly. I was taught on how to select music. I was taught on how to take requests. It's a skill. It really is, and going on it alone is really, really tough. And、um, luckily, I was taught by some really good DJs here in Chicago. Nice. That's what the, what he's talking about is the importance of good mentors and something. I think Ty Lopez. I think this is something I'm stealing from him, but he thinks of books as his mentors. So it's like you know, both of us are sitting in front of our stack of mentors and so much things that we've learned from different people. So even people who've written books that have passed away, or people who've written books that are just out of reach to you, maybe their celebrity status, they've had a lot of success. You can read their books, and it's still very similar to learning from them. You know, not obviously as good, but you can think of books as mentors too. I think. Absolutely, and I, and I totally agree. And、um, just like Taylor, I read about a book. To a book and a half a week, and、um, it's not, you know, to brag about. It's just what I do.、Um, I, I'm thirsty for knowledge. I'm thirsty to learn more. I'm thirsty to get better. So I can teach somebody else, you know, on how to do this, right? Because there, there are people out there who don't, who don't have the time. They're raising a family. They're, they have a career. They don't have the time to go out there and. Learn this stuff, right? So I feel it is. It's kind of my job to absorb as much knowledge as possible and pass it on. So um, again, um, I I'm a big fan of, just like yourself, of、uh, Ty Lopez as well. And、um, I've done many many programs with him. I'm part of a couple of his groups and I'm also a follower of Bob Proctor, John Maxwell, Jim Rohn. Is like my idol.、Uh, I actually got to meet him years ago, and I will never forget it. And、um, shortly after he passed away, so、um, wow. I hold that I hold that dear to my heart, and I feel very very lucky to have met him. And if you guys don't know, Jim Rohn is a men is like the mentor of mentors. 
all these guys I named, they actually used to look up to Jim Rohn. So um, if you guys haven't already, you should go out and pick some books. If you don't have time, audiobooks while you're driving. You know, Jim Rohn's the man. Who did you say after Bob Proctor before Jim Rohn? Uh, John Maxwell. Cool. I always yeah. like learning about new people. Wendy says she loves Jim Rohn. Oh, wait, did you answer about how you cook? Oh, yes, yes. So, um, again, I love all different types of foods, but I would say my favorite cook, uh, in cooking is um, Italian. I love mm. cooking Italian food, and I actually enjoy cooking Indian food, too, even though it's a pain in the ass to cook Indian food, but it's fun. It's a process. Yeah, I have one Indian dish that I know how to make, and I'm not a cook, so that's that's saying a lot. It is um, chana masala. Uh-oh. That it, that is so good. That's like my that's been my favorite since I've been like a year. One year old or two year old. It's so <laughs> good. I had it at a yoga, like we had like a yoga potluck and someone Ooh. brought this chana masala, which chana, if you guys don't know, is chickpeas. And then masala is like the spice that you put on it. There's garam masala. I mean there's other stuff in it. There's like tomatoes and all sorts of stuff, but it is amazing. And I've done it on scope before. I've showed you guys how to make it, so Maybe I'll do that again sometime. It's delicious. And then you dip pita yes. bread in it, but if, unless you're like me, then I dip chips into it. That's so awesome, Taylor. I mean, um, it's so cool to learn about other people, and I didn't know that about you. That's that's awesome. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. What, why are we getting so many trolls? This is what happens when you go on too late at night. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm reading some of the comments. I'm just trying to... <laughs> But uh, mm, chicken tikka um, masala. It, chicken tikka masala is so good. Nick is the man. Nick is the because... man. Do you know Nick? Oh uh, yeah, I've seen him. I've seen him around. Oh yeah, yeah, because he's in the the flash chat. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Nick yeah, is... Captain Mike Hunt. I like cheese also. Where did cheese come from? I hope I smell like hummus. I love the smell of garlic hummus. They said that we look like siblings. This is Kumar Tronic, Negan. He is a Periscope DJ, and he's also going to start doing personal development, business-type scopes. He, he's oh, he's done that in the past. It's just been a while, so he's going to start doing more of those. So definitely make sure to follow him. He is in the room right now, Kumar Tronic. Um, do you have any music of your own? Music of my own? So what I do is I actually do a lot of remixes. I haven't gotten around to original production quite yet, yet. So that is one of my goals. I just have such a busy schedule. So we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully by the end of the year, I'll get started on that. But I have a ton of remixes. So if you want to check it out, I'm on SoundCloud. You can go and you can download it. It's all free. I'm also on uh, chillloverradio.net. So it's actually on my Periscope profile. You can click on it. Mm. And I have three three channels of Chill Lover Radio. I have a Bollywood channel, free to download. I have an EDM channel and a house channel as well. That's awesome. Can you remix Air Supply? Mike wants to know. I've always wanted to remix it. And now that you mention it, I'm going to do one. I'm going to definitely do one. Yes. Hey, Justin, how are you? Hello, hello, hello. Thanks for being here. We have Kumar Cheers. Tronic on the show. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs> Even though it's not alcohol, but it's water. So water is the best. Oh, are you drinking alcohol? No, water. No, we're both are drinking water. Yeah, we're so cool. We're the cool kids. We got, I mean, how long did you work today? I'm, this is hour 13 for me. Ooh. I, I slept barely five hours. <laughs> five hours. And I happened to have just about an hour of free time, so I did an afternoon mix. And then right after the mix, I left for my meeting. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. The real life of entrepreneurship, especially for me, I've just started out. I've only been scoping for about eight months. And no, it's not vodka, you guys. We are not drinking vodka. And does this look like vodka, really? It does. <laughs> it does. That's a lot of vodka to drink. <laughs> it is. It is. It's like, a, I think you might be Russian. Oh, excuse me, I have yeah. hiccups. And I'm handling it quite well then, because I drank quite a bit of vodka. I know, well look at mine. <laughs> I know you're not gonna, you're gonna see it on a delay, but like, I got the most vodka of anyone in here right now. Getting drunk! Just kidding. 
thing. Well, well, and we're handling it like champs. Yeah, we're still getting work done, making money. We're doing everything. Vodka makes hiccups. <laughs> yes, exactly, Andrew. <laughs> Vodka is the best. It will clear your system. <laughs> They're like, you guys must be wasted. Well, my actually, some of my viewers started a drinking game. If every time I say the word boom, B-O-O-M, boom, every time I say <laughs> that, they take a drink, and it ends very poorly for them. They get way too drunk. I, punky. I, dis I, I despise them. <laughs> <laughs> because they're going to be drinking a lot of vodka or a lot of drinking. Oh, I miss I Mother no Russia. I know, I say Mother it a lot. Russia. Jackie says Fem Yoga Vodka. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. You should name one of your sculpts that. Fem Yoga Vodka. <laughs> I don't drink vodka, you guys. Stop being bad influences. Let's read books. Where's pissed, um, pissed, pissed. Where's Sona 108? This is my book for her. I know she's not here, but this is the book she's going to read. Because okay. I say so. It says, nice girls d still don't get the corner office. It's about being a successful businesswoman and not being, thinking that you always have to be super nice to be successful. You have to take care of yourself, too. Not put everyone before yourself. Very good advice for businesswomen, probably men, too. Especially those who are more compassionate than your everyday. Absolutely. Go ahead. Here, here. I'm going I'm to say something. I, I think... Women are better business people than guys are sometimes. I really do. It's because of the way they perceive things. The way It's just they have that sixth sense, right, which is really essential for running a business. So I find it really interesting for, like, um, books that are written for women. It's right on. Guys should read it, too. <laughs> I'm telling you, read it. There's some good knowledge in there. There is, actually. I have another book here. Uh, it's called Lean In by Sheryl Sandberg, the CFO of Facebook. And um, this is Women Work Women Work and the Will to Lead, and it has a lot of interesting studies in here. Um, I don't know that I agree with her on everything, but this is a great book, I would say. <laughs> Moonbeam says they make great cookies, too. Yeah, and they, all these comments are awesome. I know! <laughs> Dove is like, women are the root of all evil. He's one of my super fans. <laughs> what? He's your super <laughs> fan and he's saying that? Yes, <laughs> because the, they, they say trolling is my number one love language. And it's true. <laughs> Shut up, Mike. You I haven't invested that. a single penny into my scope business. You liar, you dirty, rotten liar. Don't get us wow. off track. What are some of your favorite books? All right, so, oh, I left it in the other room. Um, success Principles is like my Bible. Have you read that? Success Principle? No, I'm writing it down. Okay, so for anyone that's trying to enter the business world or trying to improve their lives, Success Principles is a book to read. It's about 400 plus pages, and it's filled with so much timely knowledge. I mean, you're going to read something that will really, really impinge on you. <laughs> I'm telling you, there is so much knowledge in there. There's so much life knowledge in there. You've got to pick it up, guys. It's a great book. And I read it four times. And every single time I read that book, I'm picking up on something else I didn't catch the time before. And it's been helpful. I mean, uh, there's even like little sections in there where you can take notes. And there's like little quizzes to test yourself. It's really cool. It's written by Jack Canfield. Oh yeah, um, okay. Who, yeah, he's the guy who did The Secret and um, and a couple of other not couple, many other collaborations with like Bob Proctor and all these other people. Yeah. Um, <laughs> dumb. Um, Justin, <laughs> I hope you're just kidding, right? Because I don't have any emails to get back to. I got back to your last email. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. I can't, me again. I can't read 400 pages. I could read 40, maybe. Got to work on that, man. I mean, dude, come on, bro. <laughs> Let's see. Here's a little book, though. Let's see how long this one is. This one is 129 pages. Which one? The Four Agreements. Ooh, that's a good book. It is good. And that's a that's a really nice short read too. So that's a good book to read. I feel like it's short too, yeah. Oh here's yeah, this one's even longer. 
Okay, we, we don't want to get longer. We want to go shorter. Hmm, Green doing? eggs and ham is a good read. <laughs> there we go. Murray wow. Bookchin, what's that? Let's all compare books. Yeah, that's pretty much what we're doing. Um, the Miracle Morning, this is a quick read because you don't have to really read all of it. You could pretty much read, like, the end of it. Let's see, this one has... 118 pages. Look, Dove, we're getting there. We're getting closer. This one's good. The Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod. Ooh, that's a good book, too. See, we've read so many of the same books. No, Miracle not C.S. Lewis. Oh. <laughs> Jackie oh, says we want yeah. to look at every book each of you own. <laughs> <laughs> we are such nerds, and I love it. This is a we good one. About... This was on my, oh. um, my newsletter. This is the hundred dollar startup. This is really good for all. Hi, Alina. For all I of. I haven't read that one yet. Oh yes, for? totally get it. It's so good, and it's pretty short too. It's not even that long. I don't like C.S. Lewis. Um, so this is like two fifty about. It's a little more. It's Ooh. like just shy of three hundred pages, and uh, it's so good. I definitely read it over and over again. I pretty much. Oh, good night to you too, Alina. Mwah. Um, Lena, Lena's there. Hey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I, all the books that I own, pretty much, it's I'm gonna reread them. So that means that they made it, they made the cut in a big way. Deep yeah, work. if you can read the books over and over and over again, then that's something you should be reading, absolutely. And that's why I, I read Success Principles four times, four times, and uh, I keep picking up on nuances. It's crazy. Yeah, and that's okay if you like C.S. Lewis. We're all we all like different. Um, you know, we all like different authors and different books. Yeah, this is by Cal Newport. Have you read this one yet? No, I have not read that one. This one's pretty new. This was recommended by Ty though, and it's so good. Oh my god! Okay, I'm gonna write this down. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this one's good. So this is basically how to the importance of working uninterrupted on a project or a problem for like at least two hours at a time. So if you have a really big problem that you want to solve, even if you just take like 20 minutes to just not like to unplug from everything, close your eyes and just think about that problem just over and over. just think about it. Think about it like a meditation. You just stay focused on the problem, coming up with mm. any and all solutions you can come up with for them. And uh, it will pretty much you'll solve it. You know, if you just give yourself 20 minutes timed uninterrupted, that you'll pretty much solve any problem. And then you can go all the way up to like two hours at a stretch. And he talks about you don't want to go too hard. Like we're talking about, you know, I've been, I'm on like hour 13 of my work day. It's like you don't, you start to lose effectiveness and you start to lose energy. You start to lose that productivity that you get when you really just work hard for like two, three hours and then give yourself a nice break to break it up. Wow. That's, that's right on. Oh my God. That's so true. This I got to read this book. Yeah, this book actually taught me how to, it didn't teach you in the book, but it mentions in the book how to um, memorize a deck of cards. And it just makes it, like, you just realize that really you only need to spend, like, two hours and you'll have it memorized. All right, so this is on my must, 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 asterisk, like, a hundred times to read book. Yes. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Andrew. I appreciate that. He said that even though I'm a C.S. Lewis hater, I'm still his favorite scoper. That's very sweet. <laughs> I'm gonna take all my books and at least make a blanket when I'm homeless sleeping in my car. I don't think books make a great blanket though. No, nah. maybe pillows. Maybe. Book chin. I'm gonna write down book chin. Um, Justin, I don't know what that is, but I'm writing it down. Why am I doing like '70s porn music? Okay. <laughs> what else do we have? What the hell? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Actually, you know what? I think I want to give this book away. This wasn't supposed to make its way into the pile. Maybe I'll do a giveaway on this book in the future. I'll figure out some good thing that you guys can do to help me, and I will send this book to the winner. Boom, boom, boom. The Brain Warrior's Way. It's a fine book. It's just not one that I'm going to reread, so. Mm. He's a communist. It's the vodka. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, that's why I'm just singing porn music? Probably. <laughs> Yoga Brain book. Warrior's Way. Nice book there. Nice book. Yeah. All right. It's all right. Let's see what else. Well, 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 what would you say really impinged on you about that book? What really struck you and what didn't strike you about that book? 
the brain warriors way. I felt like it was a lot of redundant information and the whole thing could be easily summed up by saying like, uh, get outside, walk more, and eat an anti-inflammatory diet. I agree. Yeah. 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 I felt it, so, it was longer well, than well, necessary. Well, 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 what, would, what would you say helped you the most? Or, yeah, what would you say helped you the most? Or what, you, what can you take away from that book? Oh, pretty much what I just said, but I felt like I already knew that stuff, so I really, I, this was a gift. This book was a gift, so I read it, but I didn't, I wouldn't read it you again. You didn't much of it. Okay. Yeah, it was, it was so much longer than it needed to be. Yeah, there are a few books like that. Um, yeah, that, that's why, that's why I say that the recall, ah, let me show you a book. Since yeah. you're showing books, I'm going to show some books too. Let's do yes. this. Okay, so I got Brian Tracy Goals. Have you read that one? Brian Tracy, did he write Eat That Frog? Yes, he did write that one. Yes, I have that. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Um, no, I don't have Goals. It's called Goals. Yeah. Where is it? It's a great book. And it actually teaches you the art of writing goals. So which I think is extremely important, right? Because goals kind of make or break you. And if you have it written down correctly, and if you have it written down in multiple places, it can really propel you. Yeah, that's true. I need to get better about that myself. I only have my goals in one spot. I don't see Eat That Frog. I don't know where it is. I wonder if I gave it away. I need to get a new copy. That's an awesome book by Brian Tracy, for sure. I'm obsessed with it. You know what? I think I did give it away, because the last time I read it, I was like, you know what? I got it. The Encyclopedia is one of those books that's way too long. Write them down. I did write it down. I wrote down goals. It only takes two seconds to write down goals. So now we're going to get into something controversial. Boom, boom, boom. Judge Andrews, let's, Napolitano. Let's, do it. let's yeah. do it. Yes. I love pretty much all his books. I wasn't a big fan of... Um, Woodrow and wait, what was it called? Something Woodrow, something in Woodrow. I can't remember. Theodore and Woodrow, I think. Um, but this one I loved, A Nation of Sheep. He's got some other ones. I don't think I have them, but um, they're in my last newsletter. And he was a he used to be a judge, and he just writes about how important it is to keep the government and the power of the government in check. Yeah, that's important. There needs to be checks and balances, right? I think so. How to Win Friends and Influence People, that's a classic. Classic book, absolutely. And I think that's a great book for any beginner. Actually, people of all levels and all businesses should read that book. There's some good information on that, you know. And, and you know what the crazy thing is? This book was written, what year was this book written? Like in the 1940s or something, right? How to Win Friends and Influence and, People? Yeah, it's been, it was written a long time ago. 1936. And 1936, yes. And still, so, some of the basic concepts in there still apply today. And that not that mind-boggling? It was written so long ago, and yet today some of these same principles and concepts apply. Oh, yeah. The, I, oh, my gosh. Like, that book, 1984, by George Orwell, to me, I'm like, how did he write this so long ago? I mean, so much of that is, it's just crazy to me. What was I just reading? Even, um, I don't know how long ago it was written, but Handmaid's Tale, and I was just like, wow. So, oh, the, um, the Feminine Mystique, that was written in, like, the 40s or something, and I, it's just crazy to me how many books there are like that, where you're just like, wow, how did they know all this back then? Yeah, you know, and the people that write these epic, epic books, even, you know, decades ago, they were able to foresee, you know, business. And the thing is, the basic concept of business never changes, never changes, never will change. The technology will change, right? Social media is new, right? Will social media be around 20, 30, 40 years from now? Yeah. The technology, will that change? Oh, yeah. It's going to be more interactive. It's going to be more in your face. There's probably going to be more social media outlets. So, yeah, you better believe it. It's going to keep changing. It's going to keep evolving. Mm -hmm. But those same business concepts will still apply from 
the 30s. Yeah, a lot of it's psychologically based and we're, you know, as a human race, we're not evolving, you know, out of our psychological, uh, it's like, you know, our reptile brain is still alive and kicking and we're really not as evolved as we might like to think. (laughs) Hey, Nicole. But, but, you know, don't, don't um, sell our people short. We're really capable of evolving. We're really capable of learning new things. That's what makes us great as a human race we're able to evolve we're able to push forward and you know go through some tough times and you know it's these tough times right that make make us who we are you know and um that's why people i mean let, let's think of sports right um when do we start playing sports the people that are professional they start probably as kids right mm-hmm. as five-year-olds as six-year-olds and all they're learning as five-year-olds is the mental part. Really, that's 90%. I said 95% is mental. They're learning the game. They're learning discipline. And you still learn discipline as an adult, right? But it gets easier and easier as you put in more and more repetitions, right? Then you become, what do we call it? A professional. A professional is somebody who has done those repetitions over and over again. And before you know it, it's like clockwork. And then you're learning new things on the side. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That is, it's true that once you start down the journey of self-development, I feel like you do hit a point. And with a lot of things, probably with business, with your relationships, there's just so much. Yeah, Warren says 10,000 hours. Hey, Warren, and that was really cool how you said that we're all the same no matter what time it is. I I tend to, to agree with that. Pretty much, hey, eyes. <laughs> She's like, whoa, deep discussion. So I had a eyes, sock puppet eyes. on right before this. And now we're getting into some heavy, down and dirty, uh, late at night. Is Kumar a professional? I would say yes, he is. And just want to give a warning that we're at like the less than 15 minute mark. So if you guys want to share, invite anyone to this conversation. If you have anything that you want to ask, if you're feeling a little shy, just speak up. Talk to us. We want to hear from you. We love you. We want to know what books you like, what authors you like. Or, (laughs) wait, this isn't Sock Cop. (laughs) (laughs) And remember to tap those screens. Yes, I see tons of hearts coming in. Oh, wait, I think I have a heart race for you guys. Boom. Boom, Wendy Glitters, top of the heart race, followed by... Wait, don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me. Is it... No, it's not Melly. I know that face. I know your face. Nicole, right? I think it's Nicole. And then, hmm, who's below Nicole? I see Justin. Who's Who's got the afro? Look at all these new faces. I see, I think, City Cynic down there at the bottom. Woo, we just had a place switch. I love it. You guys are killing it. This was a book that I was just thinking about rereading the other day. I was talking about cognitive biases, and it's this one's really short. All right, Dub, I don't know if you're still with us here, but if you are, let's see how long this Charlie one is. Charlie Munger. Ooh, ooh. Love it. Love it. I think 182 pages. Okay, so it's in there. It's in the right range. Um, I love this because this is all the cognitive biases, and it's so short. And this is his whole. This is about his investments. Um, you know, this, his advice for investments, plus um, all of the biases in one place. And it's such a nice, compact book. It's called The Complete Investor, Charlie Munger. It's by. I have no idea. It doesn't say. It says Columbia Business School Publishing. So I'm not really sure. It's not written well, by Charlie well, Munger. Well, here's the clue. When Warren Buffett, when Warren Buffett, that that's his mentor. That's Warren Buffett's mentor. Mm-hmm. If he is reading his stuff and if he's following his advice, that's a clue. For anyone who doesn't know who Warren Buffett he is, he is, I believe, last time I checked, the richest, one of the richest men, top five richest men in America. Maybe the richest, I'm not sure. He is the... Uh, what president, CEO, something president of Berkshire Hathaway. Yes, and uh, he holds this Peter Schiff. every year. He holds this big convention, big convention in Oklahoma. Yeah, in Oklahoma or Omaha, I think Oklahoma. And he he has twenty thousand VIPs. That's insane. They're all VIPs. It is extremely hard to get in there. And only like the best of the best, the top of the top people go go there and get in there. Is it Oracle of Omaha? I think so, yeah. Not, yeah, everyone's saying Omaha. Oh. Nice, you guys know your stuff. I love this. This is very impressive. Oracle of Omaha. Omaha, nice, awesome, yeah. 
Oh, here's, oh my god, there's just so many good books. I'm just going to keep pulling out books until the end. And you can say anything that you want to say. Um, this one I liked. I found this on one of my friend's bookshelves. That's the kind of, like, those are the fun, you know, when you're like, no one really even recommended it. Someone's just like, you can rifle through my bookshelf. And I'm like, woo, this book! And I read it, and I was like, dude, this is one of the best books I've ever read. Really? Again, I haven't read that before. I've never heard of this. Yeah, I hadn't Be either. The, it's person. another, like, 200-pager. It's called Be the Best at What Matters Most by Joe Calloway, and it, you know, they actually, I might be confusing this with another book, but it just talks about basically like making sure you're always staying connected to what your customers actually value. Because what we think, I was talking about this with Sonam earlier, what we think people value and what we think people are going to find value in or what they should have, the thing, what we think they need or what they want is usually pretty much wrong. And it's even about ourselves. So like what we think that we value and what we want, what we would spend our money on, we're usually wrong there too. Thank you, Justin. I appreciate the super hearts and the That's support. Awesome. Um, wow. Yeah, but it's true. You know, it's like you we get off track and it's like um when you read oh there's like there's so many books but um really any business book they'll tell you that customers don't usually know what they want so asking them what they want usually only gets you an idea you have to experiment with like a minimum viable product so that you can make sure that they actually will spend money on that because something interesting i think people i think it's interesting maybe you will too on my periscope channel i get some of the most sponsorships on my channel after i yes warren it does warren you read that book yes okay getting distracted um the minimal viable products were the saying um oh my scopes <laughs> um when i drink and party and like you know and like just listen to music and just sit here and like talk the crap with you guys like i don't even have content and we don't even really like do anything really like interesting i get some of my best sponsorships then now do you think anyone would like have written in a little survey or anywhere or even admitted verbally anywhere to say like you know what I'm really going to pay like hundreds of dollars for? I'm going to pay hundreds of dollars to watch this girl drink and have fun. No, they think that they would pay for the yoga, but that's some of the content that gets the least amount of investment. Wow. No, no, but you know what? It makes sense because they're seeing the real you, right? They're like, wow, this girl is fun. But at the same time, she's so professional. She's so profound. She reads a lot. She does this yoga stuff. And now we're seeing her be one of us. She's hanging out with us. <laughs> well done. That's awesome. Oh, thank you, Justin. Yeah, it's been just about 30 days. I was thinking about you, or like, just today, you know, and then you come in perfectly. And he's like, now, oh, that reminds me. I have to re-up my Fem Yoga sponsorship. It's just so funny. People don't like scripted stuff. Oh, because it's yeah. like a reality scope. Yeah. Check hmm. Flash's scope. What do you mean, check Flash's scope? Right now? We're, we have a little bit of time left. You mean like do it live, like it has something to do with us? Or let's see, we have eight minutes. One of us. Yeah, Justin's like, wait, one of us? <laughs> <laughs> one of us. One of us. All right, all right, more stuff. Let's see. How about this one? This one's good. This is good for people, even if you work for someone else. Yes, I did just knock over all my books. Okay, this is called The Five Languages of Appreciation in the Workplace. Ooh, I've heard of this book. I have not read that either. It's really cool. My number one language of appreciation in the workplace last time I took this test was um, acts of service. So if people do stuff to help my business and help me out, um, that's actually, and that's funny because my love language, that's like my third out of five. Oh, you, we're on flash to scope. You, you, oh. Nobody move. Flash. <laughs> He's flashing us. Hi, Flash. Tell Flash to come on here, yes. Flash. I don't want to put Skype on my computer. Just come on Google Hangouts. Look, look how beautiful Kumar looks. Kumar, put, uh, put I, on I, your best I model. So, I, look, I, look, I, look, I look so pretty. He does look pretty. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. You could be. <laughs> you could have a whole other business ahead of you as a model. Uh, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> Thank you, Justin. Wait, how am I supposed to see Fla what Flash is seeing? Flash, why you yeah. always do this to me? Where I'm never he? prepared. Is he incognito? Is he like pulling one on us? No, he's like live <laughs> pulling us on the screen. Oh, oh, okay. Where's my phone? Am I showing my underwear? No, I did that the other day. I had to hide my scope. Flash, you're going to get banned for putting me on your screen. You never know what's going to happen. All right, all right, let's look. We're probably not even on there anymore. We're just like talking to ourselves, pretending like we're actually Flash, but we're not. 
makes no right, sense. Right, exactly. Come on, put music on. We'll dance to it. We'll probably be on a delay, but it'll be hilarious. Oops, 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 oh, you're putting oops, music on. Oops. All right, we're ready. We're ready. We're ready. What? This is old. This is stuff from yesterday. My phone is like on a 24 hour delay. <laughs> here hey, we go. Flash is here. What's up, Flash? Yay! Elena. Elena's here. We got Yay! Wilson, here. Flash! It is a party. I see What's him. Up? Oh, I see his little spiky hat in here, too. Look at you, spiky. Flash is crying. <laughs> Don't cry, Flash. They're there. Flash, they're there. you there. need to cry, bro. They're you there. Need to cry. I, I, I know it's tears of happiness. You get to be with us. You get to hang with us. It's all good, bro. Welcome. It is tears of happiness. I have tears of happiness right now. Oh, wait. That's sweat. That's sweat. Mm -hmm. Psych. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's do cheers. Sarah, I know Sarah's in on the screen, but she has a giant water bottle like mine. Cheers, everyone. Drink up. Boom. Mm. Let's drink. Wait, you said is boom. This? What is you this, said, vodka? It's, it's yeah, vodka? We yeah, all have vodka. vodka. You said boom. Everyone has to drink. Let's do this. Okay, he's playing music now. I know you can't hear it. Oh, wait. Is he still playing our voice? He cheers us. Oh, yes. That's so fun. Nice. Oh, I thought he was playing music, but no, it's just us talking, so everyone's going to hear me say all this. <laughs> Awkward. Remember this? You can't see me right now, but I'm doing an awkward turtle. Awkward turtle? Yeah, you don't remember awkward turtle? Does anyone remember awkward turtle? What's an awkward turtle? Look at the screen. I've been doing it for a few seconds. You should be able to see it by now. Oh, I see. It. Okay. <laughs> you remember that? No. Yeah, I remember that. You do remember that? Yes. Okay. Music. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now we dance. Oops, oops, Wait. Oops, oops. Can you hear it? Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, okay. Yeah. Do the aqua Do the aqua turtle. What are we doing? The aqua turtle. Oh yeah, do the aqua turtle. Aqua Wait. Turtle. There you go. Oh, that's the aqua. Come on now. Yes. You're the best, Flash. Drink the water. Drink the water. Who would have thought this scope would turn into a dance scope? I thought it would. It always does when we hang out, Kumar. It always becomes oh, a dance party. It, it becomes a party. Wait, Taylor, are you gonna get me banned? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's scope -ception. There's gonna be too many. There's gonna be flash on flash on flash. It's too much. All right, all right. Oh, all right. No, that, 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 that's too much flash. That's too it's, much flashing. I know. No flashing on Periscope. No flashing. No flashing. It's, ba it's banned. This is banned. Thank you, twelve sixteen, for the super hearts. If you don't follow Kumar, Kumar, go in the chat. There was only two minutes left. Go. Um. Right, right, right. I'm here. I'm here. I'm in your chat. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. Okay, Justin, it should be better now. Oh, there's two Justins in here now. There's 1216, and then there's Justin. Boom! Yes! And you even said boom! It's so perfect! I love it! <laughs> I love it. Okay, oh any last God. words? Anything you want to promote coming up? Any last words? Go out there and kick ass. That's seriously i mean it's simple but go out there do what you do do what you love doing and, you, and if you don't love what you what you if you don't love what you're doing right now find something you love because um life is precious it really is and um enjoy your life right i for me my motto is enjoy your life helping other people and um, i absolutely love helping other people that's and i love entertaining I'm a people person, right? So um, if there's anything I can do to service other people, I'm I'm all about it. And this goes to all of you as well. If you guys need someone to talk to, if you need someone to converse with, share ideas, just shoot ideas, uh, I'm here. You can reach me on Snapchat. You can reach me on my Twitter, Facebook. And I'm pretty sure it's the same for Taylor as well. She She's a people person as well. She loves helping people. So you can reach out to her as well. But, I mean, you got some outlets here. It's freaking awesome. And um, yeah, I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Oh, 
Well, we love you too, Kamara. Thank you so much for coming on. Remember, you guys can check out femyoga.com. Make sure you're following Kumar. Um, are you going live tonight, or when are you? Going I live will go. Again? Yeah. You know what? Let's let's do it. Uh, I will come live in about fifteen minutes. Fifteen nice. minutes. I got to set up my equipment. We'll have a nice party. Thank you guys you can chill. We'll drink our vodka. Yes. Oh, he downed <laughs> it. Yes, he killed it. Yes. I love it. Thank you. Thank you, guys. And you know what? We had an awesome group here today. A mm -hmm. phenomenal group, a fun group, and I, I had a blast. I hope you guys had a blast, too. I had a great time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, you're all worthy of being loved and feeling comfortable in your own skin. Connect with Kumar. He's going to be live soon. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you back tomorrow for three more hours of content. Check out FamYoga.com. Follow me on Periscope, on Twitter, on Instagram, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I hope to see you back very, very soon. Bye. See ya.